Hi, Melina here, and I'm just gonna try to, as quickly as I can, go through the books that I got in December. Uh, half of these are Christmas presents, and half of them are just stuff that I bought for myself, and they're kind of just in weird sections. And yeah, uh, let's get started. The first and only arc that I have received in um, December is My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. Uh, this comes out at the end of March for 2019 and it is uh, marketed as Dexter meets uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith and it's basically just this married couple that once they get bored in their marriage they decide to start murdering people together to make things more exciting and um, yes that sounds right up my alley. So we have that. Next we have three just because presents from my boyfriend. They're not um, Christmas presents, they're just randomly books that he bought me. Uh, so first we have Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. This has been on my list for a while. Lots of people like rave about it. It's won awards. It's basically the apocalypse and you're following a Shakespeare theater troupe. So it sounds like something I'd be into. Next we have American Drifter by Heather Graham and Chad Michael Murray. Um, I've always been intrigued to pick up something by Heather Graham, but mainly the reason I picked this up and also the reason I know nothing about this is because the only reason I was interested in this is because it's by Chad Michael Murray. I seen uh, Christine advertise this and when she was interviewing him for this book and I just wanted to support him and see if it was actually any good. And yes, look at that. Look at that author photo though. <laughs> and the last one here is from Barnes & Noble and it's called Writer's Guide to Character Traits by Linda N. Edelstein, and it's basically a guidebook, like a nonfiction guidebook for people who are writers, and you can just open to like a random section, and it's like, oh, traits of people who are 20 year olds, uh, traits of people who have experienced trauma, and it helps you like give a more fully fleshed out character. So I'm excited to put this to use this year. Next, we have some books that I bought myself. Um, the first two that we have here are from Goodwill, and this one is Lullaby by Chuck Palahniuk, and this is, all I know about this is it's about a song that when people hear it, it drives them mad, and I believe it makes them want to commit murders. So there's that. Next is The Wedding Date by Jasmine Guillory. Um, I've heard lots of good things about this, and um, it's basically about an interracial couple and it has the fake dating trope and I know that when I'm gonna be in the mood for this, this will be the perfect book to kind of fill that need, so I'm excited for that. Next year, we have this little book that's called I'd Rather Be Reading and it's advertised as art for book lovers and it just has different like photography and like pictures like of libraries and books and drawings of people reading books and whatnot and it seemed like something I'd be into so I was excited to see this and it was like two dollars so next I have 101 things that piss me off by Rachel Bollinger uh this um I originally was interested in picking this up because this is uh Colleen's sister um and it's just like a funny kind of comedy-esque book about things that like bother her and I would casually read this at my job, just go through the numbers and stuff, so I've already read like at least a good half of it. And yes, um, my favorite page in this is her rant about soup, because I relate. And yes. Um, next here, we have some manga that I picked up. We have volume 4 of One Punch Man, and volumes 6 and 7 of Oran High School Host Club. Um, love the cover to this one so much and I've basically just kind of been accumulating them so I can binge read them later when I have enough and I'm ready to. So we have those. Next we have a random single issue comic that I picked up. It's called By Night and it's from the publisher Boombox which I love everything they put out because usually the art and the stories are very cutesy uh, and I know that this is starring ladies. One of them is a lady of color and I believe that one or both of them are queer. So that's all I know about it and I'm excited to get into it. Next, we have Fight Club 2 by Chuck Palahniuk and um, Cameron Stewart. This is the comic series that they released as a continuation to the Fight Club book slash movie and I was reading them 
when the single issues were coming out one by one but we finally got the trade in and it's normally like $35 or something and it was only $15 when we got it in so I was excited about that. Um, next year I have some random uh, Dollar Tree things I picked up. In the same vein of like the whole comics and stuff I have Star Wars Knight Errant Volume 2. Um, this was at Dollar Tree and I haven't read Volume 1 or anything but I collect Star Wars like books and comics and this was one that was for one dollar and it was a trade so I picked it up. Next year we have one that is called The Heart Broke In by James Meek. Uh, I know that this is an adult literary fiction book about a guy who is a pop star and I've been into picking up media that is about people who are like rock stars or pop stars or all that stuff. So I picked this one up. Next I have the Trouble with Christmas by Debbie Mason. Um, this is like just one of those like fluffy romance novels and I picked this up. It's about a woman who hates Christmas and she ends up falling in love with a guy who obviously is very into Christmas and all that stuff. It's like an opposites attract novel or whatever and I was really um, excited to pick this up. I bought it in December so I could read it around Christmas time and then I never did so I might get to it this coming Christmas eventually. <laughs> Um, and now when I want Christmas books, I will actually have some accumulating. Next year I have One More Taste by Melissa Coulter. Um, I've been wanting to pick up cowboy romance books, uh, from seeing a lot of them when I shelve, like, in the romance section of my job. And this one is about a cowboy that falls in love with this woman who is a chef. And I've been getting into books, that, like, and different media that's about people who cook or that want to learn how to cook and all that stuff so this one seemed fun and I really like the cover for this one. Next year we have Poorly Drawn Lines by Reza Farzmend and um this I was interested in because I already was like a fan of the webcomics from like seeing them on Instagram and Pinterest and so this is basically some of the more popular like ones of the webcomic along with some new ones uh, just kind of put together in a bind up and I enjoyed that but there was also like random paragraphs and little short stories and like prose and different things that, like that he had in his thought process randomly like while being in line ringing up for groceries and stuff and it was also random and weird and turned out to be my favorite part of this so this is uh, something I was excited to see for cheap at my store. Next we have 69 Things to Do with the Dead Princess by Stuart Holm. I believe this is an adult psychological thriller, but I mainly picked it up because I loved the title and the cover. Um, so yeah, and it was like two dollars, so why not? Um, next here, I have Elvis's Greatest Hits, Recipes, and More from Graceland. Um, I've been accumulating cookbooks because I want to learn how to cook in the coming year, and this one was like 50 cents at my job. And it is apparently this little, like, souvenir thing that they actually sell or at one point sold in Graceland. And it's supposed to have, like, uh, Elvis's, like, favorite meals and stuff and how to make them. So, I love Elvis. I've been getting cookbooks. This seemed like a given. So, now I have that. Um, next, I picked up at Target P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. Um, most people know what this is. This is the second book t in the To All the Boys I Loved Before trilogy. Um, read the first one last year and really enjoyed it. Uh, still haven't seen the film, but the sequel to the film is coming out this year, so I want to continue on with the series, plus the first book kind of left off in a cliffhanger, so I'm excited to continue. And there's that. <laughs> Next year. I have The Book of Joy by the Dalai Lama and Desmond Tutu. I've been wanting this for a while. This has been on my wish list for a hot minute. And it just, it's so cute. I've read like random like sections of it and it's just like a book about like happiness just from these two like little pure old men who just want the world to be a better place. And it has like photographs of when they've met each other and stuff scattered throughout and it's really cute. And I was excited to finally see it for cheap. So. Yes, picking this up when I'm in the mood for one of those more positivity books. And then I have Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. Um, this is his kind of narrative version of 
like all of the old Norse myths and um, I've seen lots of people plug in passages from this with like different pictures and scenes from Thor so I've been excited to pick this up saw it for cheap this is the pretty like soft cover edition and yes now those are all of the books that like were not for Christmas and now I have the like little chunk section of books that were presents <laughs> um, the first two are from my friend slash co-worker uh, Dara um, we did like a little gift exchange and I got her a cookbook and we like would talk about cookbooks a lot so she, one of the ones that she got me was one that I had been wanting it is the unofficial Hunger Games cookbook and uh, yes I'm a fan of the Hunger Games wanted to start learning how to cook so I was excited to see this never knew it existed and it's actually really cool it's organized by like the districts and they're like how they all have like a thing like district 12 is like coal and stuff they find meals that they can theme around their like niche and like you can find like district one this is like a meal that would go with them and all that stuff so i thought it was cool and yes so she picked this one up for me and then she also gave me uh the callahan chronicles by spider robinson this is a bind up i believe of a science fiction trilogy and she gave this to me because I said that I like when people who read gift me their favorite books. And she said that she's not sure if she would classify this as her favorite, but it's the one that is like happy-go-lucky that she would always read whenever she was going through rough times. So I thought that that was really cute. And the cover is really interesting. It's like all these alien creatures like at a bar. And I don't know, it seems fun. I need to get into more sci-fi, so I was excited for that. <sighs> These next four aren't necessarily uh, presents per se, like they weren't picked out for me. My grandmother gave me a gift card to the bookstore that I work at and I picked out four things with the money that was on my gift card and I got it. Um, I'm not sure that she would approve of any of the things I purchased, but I don't know, I was excited and um, I bought things that I had been wanting. This first one here is called Serial Killers um, by Al Samino and it's basically taking at least America's most famous serial killers and giving you like a little like section and like everything you need to know like kind of beginner's guide to each of them. The only problem I have with this is that it has like all of like the ones that everyone knows except Jeffrey Dahmer. I don't know why but that's the only one that's missing from here. But it's really pretty and yes I wanted it. Now here's another one that is also nonfiction. It is called How to Make Love Like a Porn Star by Jenna Jameson. Um, for those of you who don't know, she is or like was a famous porn star. And it was one dollar and I always eyed it at my store. And it has like pictures throughout and it's like her biography and the story of her life. So yes, I'm excited to get into this one. <laughs> then we have some comic things. Uh, this is a single issue of Black Hammer called Cthulhu Louise. And it's supposed to be the daughter of Cthulhu. It's a one shot, I believe, and it's just she goes to school with a bunch of like regular like human looking kids and she's like sad because she gets picked on because of how she looks and all that stuff. And I flip through it and it's so cute. And yes, I was excited to read that. And then this one I freaked out over because I've been wanting it forever. And it is uh, volume one of S Sunstone by Stefan Sedgek. Uh, this is, I was wondering how come we had it because we'd been sold out of volume one for a long time. And it's because our store uh, gets the fried pie variants because fried pie variants are for like Books a Million and Second and Charles. So this is the exclusive cover for our store. So I was excited. And yes, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is a female, female, uh, BDSM story basically um, with gorgeous art and I'm just finally excited to have this <laughs> and okay this one these next two are kind of in the same vein um, one of the books that I got that I'm gonna mention in a second I ended up getting two copies of so um, my sister returned the copy that she got me and they gave her a gift card and I was able to pick out stuff that I wanted from that you know so I have Wonder Woman, Warbringer by Leigh Bardugo, and Catwoman, Soul Stealer by Sarah J. Mass. These are books one and three of the DC Icon series. So uh, I figured two books instead of one, it was still a good trade-off. So I got those. And these last four are from my boyfriend. And these are the presents that he got me for Christmas. 
the first one here I was not expecting him to get me because I had mentioned it like once that I wanted it and it's called uh, Hope Never Dies by Andrew Schaefer um, and this is basically like a crime noir book that is like after uh, Obama has retired him and Joe Biden just go around solving crimes and it sounds amazing the cover art is great and it just I'm I know that it's like I've, I've skimmed through it it's like humorous it's funny and um, I'm excited to get into it and here is a another nonfiction true crime book it's I'll be gone in the dark one woman's obsessive search for the Golden State Killer by Michelle McNamara um, I've heard many good things about this I believe it won a Goodreads Choice Award lots of people say it's like the best true crime book that has come out in years and um, yeah so I have this one now and the book that I ended up getting two copies of was Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. This is the third and final book in the Dark Artifices trilogy. It is fucking gorgeous. And now I can finally marathon the series. And I'm excited to do so. Everyone has wanted this and I wanted it and it bothered me that it wasn't in my possession. It's huge. It's thick. And yes, everyone says that this book destroyed them. So that's exciting. <laughs> and this one is actually from my sister. It's just, I guess, lost itself in, in the pile. Um, this is another single issue. It is an cover of Captain Marvel but it's holographic so it goes between Captain Marvel and the original first issue appearance of the Hulk when he was like still a Grey Hulk and so yes it's very pretty this she got me this for Christmas and yes those are all of the things that I got I am very grateful to everyone who gave me things <laughs> and uh yes if you liked this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you would like to see more of my face and my books bye